So guys, I'm going to jump straight into this, but just before I do, make sure you go subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. First link to every video gets the comment pinned, so I turn that little bell on if I were you. And then you get your comment pinned, you get likes and your comment, you get subscribers on your channel, and it's just a win-win. But yeah, make sure you, you also like the video for 10 years of good luck. But anyway guys, let's get into it. the racing line guys this is one of the most important parts because if you mess the racing line up on like the last corner before the straight it's just going to mess up your whole speed down the straight causing you to be overtaken and all of that stuff so first I'm on this practice day on like the last lap or so um, I did like a little example of something that most of you might think would be the quickest way around the corner so let's roll that now so guys, what I'm about to show you is what you'd call the shortest way around the corner. The racing line is the fast way around the corner. So let me just quickly show you the example. So I don't know if you know this already, but one of the main key points to, do, to know in karting is to keep your revs as high as possible. But if you listen in that clip, the revs got really low. This is me doing the proper racing line, so listen to how high the revs are. So guys, I don't suppose if you heard that, but I took the wider line in and I came to the inside and I took the wider line out, which let the cart flow through the corner. And I played side by side the two, the two like times me going through the corner. And you can just listen to that difference. said wide in hit the apex which is in the center of the corner and wide out you want to be getting on your accelerator at the apex and letting your cart run right out to the edge of the track but anyway guys let's get into the next tip so guys in a sport where the goal is to go faster than everyone else on track with you. You might laugh at me if I tell you that one of the most important things in this sport is slowing yourself down. It is also one of the hardest things to grasp. So this is why I'm going to sort of warn you about this and just sort of give you a few little pointers that will give you a big head start. So guys, one of the main key points for braking is just judgment. So you have to look at how tight the corner is. If it's a really tight corner, you want to get right on those brakes. But if it's literally just like quite a quite a flowy corner, but you can't go flat out through it, you just want a little tap of them. So like for this corner, for instance, I would literally just have a tap on my brakes, steady the cart out, and then get back on the accelerator. Then for this one, I'm just lifting up the accelerator a bit. And then coming up to a hairpin like this, I'm coming down here at about 70 miles per hour. I'm going to smash on my brakes. I just zoomed in on my foot as I showed you there. And what you want to wait for is a little twitch on the back. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. 
on you and then you want to like hold that pressure on the brakes and then hold it until you get onto the apex and you're going to get straight off the brakes straight onto the accelerator and go so like for this corner i did quite a hard slash on my brakes because it sort of helped me turn so like the back twitched out and it just helped me turn into the corner but yeah like i said guys it is quite a complicated thing to explain so if you do have any questions just leave them in the comments and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can but yeah let's get on to the next point Okay, so guys, the next thing I'm about to explain to you is not as technical as the last thing, but it is quite important to still get your graphs round, and it is acceleration. So coming up to a corner, you obviously, like most corners, you obviously break, and then you've got the apex, and then you've got the exit. And something I forgot to add was, when you're working out of your braking points, break somewhere, and then break a bit later the next lap, a bit later, a bit later, until you like make a lot of mistakes and you move a little bit back and then you know that's your breaking point. So yeah, just remember that when you're breaking. Racing line correct, then you're accelerating right, you're braking right, you've now got the pace but you just need to learn how to get past those people that are slower in front of you. So this is what this next section is about, overtaking. So again we're bringing braking into this, so I'm gaining so much into this corner and then coming up to this one I'm on the bumper of this number 36 and I'm, get, and I'm getting right in behind him braking as late as possible and I'm up the inside. I didn't, I, was, I wasn't even right behind him but it was just because I braked that little bit later and it got me that edge. So what, what a slipstream is, it's when you're tucking behind someone and then they're taking all the wind on their face, it's making them slower. Here's an example. Now I could just move out to the right, brake a bit later and I've got the position. <coughs> and you'll see it coming up on this number 24 on the next lap um, I'm just trying to get a slipstream you have to be within like a certain time to sort of get a slipstream so he's a little bit too far ahead here to be for me to be in a slipstream I'm in it now as you can see I'm gaining I'm gaining and I'm gonna move out to the right overtaking one thing you need to make sure of is that you hold your brakes when you overtake someone so they can't get back on the switch back on you So if you watch here, I'm setting myself up, taking the corner normally, so I know I've, um, I've got a bit more speed than him through here. And I'm just going to move out, overtake, hold my brakes, make sure he can't get back through, and then I'm taking my race in line. Here I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you don't do so. So this is an example from the Mini Rock that. British Championship at the final the round. Basically, I tried he's, going he's up the inside on the last lap for sixth, and then I just didn't you know, hold my brake in the hairpin, and then I just ran no out wide a little bit, and then the person I was trying to overtake, he was able to just run right, run me right out wide, and got past, and I even lost seventh. So as you could see in the video, I had to dive straight back up the inside, and that time I did manage to hold my brakes. So yeah guys, once again, that's a pretty technical thing to explain. So if you have any questions about that, just leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So like, like I said at the start of this video, the biggest demographic for this video will probably be like people who just want to get, just want to like have a bit of fun with their friends whilst also getting a few cheeky little tips in there. Um, but yeah, also if you do want to get started in karting, um, Go to rockyracing.co.uk as it 
as it's a training camp I run and we do driver tuition, safety tuition, all that stuff. Just visit the website for more info as we can help you get started in proper karting. But yeah, um, the fifth tip is just to enjoy it, right? Because it's just such a fun sport and if you just relax while you're driving, you'll find that you do, your pace comes more naturally than if you're trying to drive drive too hard and then you just like starting to rag it on the steering wheel but anyway guys thank you all so so much for watching today's video and um, if you did enjoy today's video please go and smash the like button and subscribe turn notifications on to be first to every one of my videos and if you're first comment to one of my videos you get your comment pinned so i'd go down and do that if i were you but anyway guys thank you all so so much for watching it truly means the world to me and i hope to see you all in the next one peace